What's up guys, I'm here. Welcome back to another Pez 2017 Master League with AC Milan. And today we're going to get into some transfer business straight away. I don't think I'm going to be picking up Martial because we do have a lot of strikers, especially in the club and especially performing strikers like Niang, Baca. We did bring up Lobato and we do have Lapadola who has been scoring, I guess, in some games. I'm going to actually try to change the negotiation deals for Ziyech from Ajax. I'm going to see if they'll reduce the transfer fee because I also want to try getting Senzi from Sassuolo. He's worth around maybe 15 million. And uh, if we actually do end up lowering the transfer sum for Ziyech, I'm probably going to be going for Renato Sanchez because he's only worth 27 million. Ziyech is 29. So we're going to have to try and see exactly what it is because we only do have 48 million left and 11 million on our salary budget if we do sell another player maybe it'll help uh, us try and sign maybe Renato Sanchez and Ziyech or Ziyech and Senzi and I don't think I'm gonna be pushing for Martial anymore so we have a game coming up straight away in this episode against FC Croton newly promoted Croton in the Tim Cup so I think I'm gonna be simulating this match maybe just the first leg we'll see exactly how we do and then if we do completely smash them especially being a Seri B side who just came into Seri A they're not going to be very, very tough. So let's jump into it. Let's skip this match and see what happens. Hopefully we do not lose. That would be pretty embarrassing. And we only do pick up a 1-0 victory against Croton. So we did pick up a victory in the first leg. Hopefully we can win in the second leg. Don't know if I'm going to play it or simulate it. But let's take a look and see what happens. Romagnoli is improving dramatically at the moment. Some of his stats have been going up. He has now increased to an 81 overall. That is exactly what I like to see. Let's simulate a few days. And yes, we're going to have a negotiation date on the 9th of January. Let's see what happens. Hopefully they lower the transfer fee for Ziyech. No. So there's been an update in the transfer negotiations for Senzi and transfer negotiations for Ziyech have broken down probably because they do not want to lower the price of 29 million, which was a lot of money. Let's go take a look at how much they want for Senzi. They want 41 million. That is pretty stupid if you ask me let's just continue negotiations for Ziyech because I really I really would like him and Renato Sanchez 27 million I think I'm gonna see if I can reduce the transfer fee and then if it doesn't go through I'm gonna reopen negotiations and pay the full amount so first match was a 1-0 victory let's see what happens in the second match of well the second leg of this game against Croton and we pick up another 1-0 victory and we're going into the next round. It was the third round. We were facing off against a team who wasn't really that good. So I knew I wasn't going to lose. Uh, we're just going to have to wait and see exactly who we're playing against. I think it might be Juve next game. There's another thing. I think this is the Ballon d'Or. Lionel Messi wins the World Player of the Year award. No doubt in my mind once again. He won UEFA Best Player in the Year award last time out. And now he wins the World Player of the Year he is one of the best players I've ever seen play the game. So there's no doubt in my mind that he would have won. There's been an update for Renato Sanchez. And there's been an update for ZX. So they've probably lowered the price for Renato Sanchez. Because that's exactly what I asked them. I would really, really like to see them lower it. So now it's 23 million. And ZX is now 44 million. Why didn't I just accept it from the beginning? Why did I not just accept it from the beginning? So I'm going to go ahead and accept terms for Renato Sanchez. 23 million and his annual salary will be 2.2 million per year and I know it's probably a little unrealistic because he just joined Bayern in real life but he was at West Brom so I decided to sign him now we're gonna have to look for another player more or less along the lines of Ziyech let's end negotiations there's no way I'm paying 44 million for him there it is boys Renato Sanchez has joined up with the squad now I don't know exactly what number I want to give him. Let's go take a look at one number they, I guess, predetermined for him. They gave him number 7. And uh, you know what? Let's just give him a big number like 22. I think that's a decent number. I know it's Kaka's former number. But you guys let me know what number do you want to see on Renato Sanchez. We have a game coming up against Kevo Verona. We need a victory here. We're in 7th place. We're just on the outside of that Europa League spot. Let's jump into it. So for this match, I'm going to be leaving Renato Sanchez on the bench for the first half. Probably going to be bringing him in in the second half. Donnarumma, Calabria, Gomez, Romagnoli, Douglas Santos, Paredes, Kuchka, Bonaventura, Suzo, Baca, and Niang. Let's jump into this match. 
See if we can pick up a victory at the start of this episode. All right, so if we get a free kick in this match, I do want to point something out. And uh, hopefully, I will get a free kick in this match because I want to show you guys something that really brought a smile to my face. Niang trying to get through, but a nice block by the Kievo defender. Calabria, what are you doing? Calabria! Davide Calabria just completely forgot how to defend. And Inglés scores within 10 minutes. Don't know what happened to, the, to my defense over there. Calabria just started running away. I was setting him to mark Inglés. And for some reason, he just decided to run away from him. We're down 1-0, 7 minutes in. No, Calabria, what are you doing? Calabria gives that one away. And that's a strike wide. What is going on with Calabria today? Look at this. Gustavo Gomez straight to Calabria. Calabria, it was just an easy pass into Paredes. But he just makes a mess of it. Paredes into Baca. Baca, Niang. That little one too. Niang outside the box. Niang takes a shot. Niang. Referee. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What? Blatantly taken down in front of goal. In front of the box. And nothing. Absolutely nothing. The referee. Oh, such a biased ref. I don't even know what to say. Nice, Romagnoli. Nicely done. Romagnoli into Bonaventura. No. Then he just makes a mess of it. Paredes, Kuchka, Kuchka, Calabria, running down the wing. Calabria into Baca, Baca, Niang, Niang, Bonaventura, Bonaventura into Baca. Beautiful passing, just cannot lead to anything. Now Kuchka, Niang, Niang trying. Nothing is working this match. Nothing is working this match. End of the first half, playing terribly. I don't even think we have a shot on target yet. Kuchka come in, Kuchka come in, Kuchka come in. Big save, Donnarumma. Kuchka clear this one out. Okay, Donnarumma, I don't know why my players are not clearing the ball. As you clearly saw, I put so much power behind that and Kuchka just stood there. And Gustavo Gomez gets himself a yellow card. I was pretty pissed off on that one. I just slid him by behind and now they've got themselves a corner. Ah, 58 minutes. Nothing is working in this game. Absolutely nothing. I'm trying everything. That one's whipped in. Romagnoli gets it out. Calabria, referee, referee. Nothing on Calabria. Romagnoli gets that one up to Niang. Niang Baca. Here's Baca. Baca take this in. Right back to Niang. And nothing wants to work. Baca. Let's go Baca. Somebody help him out. Somebody's got to help him out. Kuchka. Kuchka taken down into Paredes. Paredes. Bonaventura. Bonaventura. Niang. Niang. Renato Sanchez. That's a poor ball. But Renato Sanchez picks it back up. He's got Douglas Santos out wide. Douglas Santos trying to take this one in. He does. Bonaventura, Paredes. Paredes to Niang. Niang turn. Niang trying to take a shot. Niang got pushed. Back in Kuchka. Nice. Paredes. Sanchez. Niang. Niang Baca. Here's Baca. Baca. Can he turn? Baca. Referee. Okay. Thank you very much. We've got ourselves a free kick. Okay. So somebody actually sent me an email. I don't know if I'll put it up on screen or not. Uh, place the shot hour between the heads of the two last players on the far post, okay? And then put 55% power. Let's see if I can do that. Okay, I think that's enough. I think that's enough. Bonaventura! It was going. It was okay. It might have gone in if I put a bit less power. It might have gone in if I put a bit less power. Thank you very much, Bain Erza. Sorry if I said that wrong. But that was actually a decent suggestion. It almost went in and... Let's go, boys. I think we have one last attack. I think we have one last attack. Niang, Baca. Baca, Renato Sanchez. He's coming forward. Here's Renato. Renato over the top for Baca. Baca tries to get there. It's picked up by Kuchka. Kuchka, the shot! The save by the goalkeeper. I don't even know what's going on this match. There's yellow cards. There's a red card that I didn't even see coming. Renato Sanchez with a decent ball in. We need to make the most of this corner. This is the last opportunity in this match. Let's send this in. Who's sending it in? Renato Sanchez. Put this into the middle. Kuchka's there. There's Niang. Niang on the ball. Niang, the ball is falling all over the place. Douglas Santos, pick it up. Up to Kuchka. Kuchka. Okay. Now it's Renato Sanchez. Renato Sanchez on the ball. Renato. Ah, oh, Renato Sanchez. Paredes. No, referee. 1-0 loss. What is going on in this series now? I had one shot on target, and it was the shot from Kuchka. So Niang picked up an injury, and he's going to be out for two weeks. Just when things couldn't get any worse. Next match against Empoli. Let's jump into it. Baka didn't score last game. Still on 13. Empoli in 10th place. 
We need a victory, boys. I don't know what's going on. Lineup: Donnarumma, De Chilio, Garay, Romagnoli, Douglas Santos, Paredes, Kuchka, Bonaventura, Suzo, Lobato, and Baca. Let's do this. Uh, they're not playing Maori, but they are playing Saponara. So let's watch out for that and get into this match. Corner, Empoli, Pasquale to take. They're already on attacking. That one's whipped in. Douglas Santos is there. The header goes wide by Saponara. De Chilio to the middle to Suzo. Suzo, Bonaventura. Lobato, Lobato to Baca. Let's go, Baca. Back into Lobato. Take this around. Here's Lobato. Referee, that is a sliding challenge from behind. That was... You saw that. He didn't call anything on that. And Lobato is down on the floor. Don't tell me that's an injury because the referee is stupid and stubborn. Uneventful first half. We've got to their half of the pitch, but nothing's been working. They've had a few shots. One corner, but I, other than that, nothing's going on. Nil, nil. Watch out for this. Here's Pasquale. Let's make the wall jump. Big save, Donnarumma. Oh, my goodness. Thank you very much, Parades. Sanchez. Sanchez to Douglas Santos. He's got fresh legs. He hasn't been running that much. Okay, into Bonaventura. Lobato, Lobato. Bonaventura, Bonaventura to Santos. Santos turn. Hold the ball. No, okay. Nothing seems to want to work. Into Bonaventura. Kuchka, Parades. Parades to Lapadula, Lapadula to Lobato, Lobato into Lapadula, Lapadula. Why did Bonaventura stop running? Bonaventura was going and then he stopped running. It's okay, it's picked up by Renato Sanchez. Can he take it in? Into Bonaventura, Kuchka, Kuchka to Lapadula. And everything's being blocked. Parades picks it back up to Sanchez. Sanchez loses the ball. Let's go, Santos. Douglas Santos into Sanchez. Sanchez right back to Douglas Santos. Here he is into Sanchez and... That was going absolutely nowhere. We've got ourselves a corner. We made a few substitutions and now stuff is working. Let's go. Renato Sanchez to take. Whip this one in. Can we find somebody's head? There's Lobato. Lobato the header. Great clearance by the defender. Locatelli. Bonaventura. Bonaventura back to Locatelli. Here's Manuel Locatelli. Lobato. Lobato. Lapadula. Lapadula turn. Here's Lapadula. Lapadula into Locatelli. Here's Locatelli. No. No, Locatelli, please. I just brought you on to make a difference and you miss from there. No. Here's Marilungo. Marilungo, nice block by Romagnoli. Do we have one more? Do we have one more? Do we have one more? Here's Locatelli. Locatelli, Bonaventura. Lapadula, Lapadula to Lobato. Lobato, he's turning. Here's Lobato. Somebody help him out. Got taken down. Renato Sanchez picks it back up. Referee. No. Referee, are you kidding me? Here comes... No. Okay, no, no. Don't tell me this is going to happen. Don't tell me this is going to happen. The Chilio's there. This ref, this ref is just absolute garbage. Absolute garbage. He plays the advantage. I barely touch the ball. They don't call a foul. And now Garay gets a yellow card. For what? Oh, yeah. The challenge on, the, on Gilardino. Definitely going to be the end of this match. Definitely going to be the end of this match. We haven't picked up a win. We have not picked up a win. Nil, nil. No, don't be happy, Douglas. Nil, nil. We got a loan for Rodrigo Eli. A loan offer, $888,000. Let's accept the loan offer. I mean, 888,000 euros. 26 million for our transfer budget. Let me know who I can pick up. And I think I'm going to jump into this match against Genoa in coach mode. And see if we could actually pick up a victory. Maybe it's me who's playing and who sucks. So yeah, boys, this is one of the reasons why this episode actually took so long to get out. It's because I had some complications. The end of the video where we actually got into coach mode in the last match against, I think it was, I'm not even sure, maybe Bologna. I could be completely wrong. Uh, I went into it and we actually picked up a 4-2 victory. I'm sorry that I guess I haven't been the best player in Pez in the past couple of episodes. I don't know what's going on. Maybe it's my team spirit. Maybe I just really don't know what's happening anymore. But I still really enjoy playing the game. It's just that little thing happened. My Elgato kind of froze. I don't know what happened. My computer blue screen. It was just a mess. But I was able to get, I guess, the first two games. And then as I was going into coach mode, uh, everything just decided to die. So yeah, that's how this episode is going to end. We're actually going to pick up a victory at the end without me even playing. Maybe I just suck. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time.